What's up guys, Stew Dog here, and yeah, it's that time of year again. Time for another edition of the top 10 worst plays of 2016 caught on camera. So I did a video just like this for 2015, and I'm like, why not do it for 2016 on the same day, a Christmas Eve special. We got some good ones for you guys today, as we had just some insane stuff happen on my channel in 2016. And without further ado, let's just start this video and see what the heck just happened. So we got... Our player in the red, Diego Zims, he goes for a first turn thousand ice restrict for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Honestly, no reason. He's going to use his fusion gate, go purposely neg to go for thousand ice restrict. There's no monsters on his opponent's side of the field. And then he's going to go off with some other plays. He's going to activate advanced ritual art to go for the dark master's zork. And then he has the nerve to try to attack, which you can't even do because thousand ice restrict says other monsters on the field can't attack. So it's like... Why would you go for Thousand Ice Restrict? It makes no sense. As you can't even attack, and the duel actually lasted like 10 minutes longer just because he went for that Thousand Ice Restrict turn 1. It was just a horrendous play. So, anyway, yeah, I'll leave the link to all these full episodes in the description below if you want to go check out the full video. But anyway, going on to number 9, we got Jim Doug 24242. He's going to normal summon Trans the Magic Swordsman. Not too often you see Trans the Magic Swordsman seen in competitive play. His opponent's going to activate Trap Hole upon the summon of the Trans. And then guess what Jim's going to respond to the Trap Hole? Yeah, you guys are never going to guess this one. He's going to Chain Remove Trap to negate the Trap Hole. Are you joking me? That that is That goes wrong in so many ways. And as you can see, it resolves. No one even cares, but... <laughs> One, remove trap is not a quick play. It does not negate. So how does that even work? Like, what? That's even worse than MST negating. Like, really? Remove trap does not negate. Are you joking me? Wow. Face palm, man. Face palm. But anyway, going on to number eight here. <laughs> As you can see, the chest just going crazy in this duel. But, yeah, going on to number eight, we got... This guy, player in the red, he's going to activate Advanced Ritual Art, pitching Black Luster Soldier from his hand to special summon the regular old BLS from his main deck. Are you joking me? Are you joking me, man? You cannot Ritual Summon from the deck, okay? You can't do it. Complete cheat, horrendous play, face palm, not much more to say. You're going to give up BLS Envoy of the Beginning, a powerful card that's still limited at one of the ban list. Just to go for the vanilla BLS from your main deck. Are you joking me? So bad. And no one even cared this entire game. They just dueled it on and... <laughs> yeah, just a, a complete horrendous cheat right there. And there's not much more to really say about that. Anyway, going on to number 7 here. We got Trolensky Bellybag. He's going to normal summon a random vanilla monster. And upon that normal summon, he's going to activate... Polymerization, he's going to fuse the Labyrinth Wall, Heretic Sealed, Sun Dragon Overlord, and that other monster. And guess what he's going to fuse for, guys? Guess what? He's going to fuse for, drumroll, the Moki Moki King. Are you joking me? The Moki Moki King. What the F? The three requirements are Moki Moki, Moki Moki, and Monkey Monkey. And all the three monsters he fused with were not Moki Mokis. And plus, why would you play Moki Moki King? It's a terrible card. I don't even know, guys, but terrible stuff right there. Going to number six. So we got Abdul Neon here in the blue. He has a Fire Fist Bear on his side of the field. He's going to crash his Fire Fist Bear into his opponent's Drilago. And this is where stuff just gets crazy. So let's just roll the tape. So he's going to crash with Drilago. Fire Fist Bear does not activate because it did not deal any battle damage. But as you can see, Abdul Neon is still viewing his deck. And he's going to search a tanky. And even worse, he's going to activate tanky during the battle phase. And then he's going to special summon what he searched off tanky during the battle phase. <laughs> and then he has the nerve to attack with it. Are you effing kidding me on this one? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? That went wrong in so many ways, I can't even describe how bad that was. That was just beyond bad. I was face palming so hard. Oh my god. But anyway, that was just place number six. Here it is, the number five worst play of the year. We got Spring Bonnie 21 here in the blue. 
it's his turn, and he randomly views his deck for no reason. He just views his deck, and he adds a Night Beam from his deck to the hand. So what is he going to do with the Night Beam? I have no idea, but guess what he tries to do. So he randomly activates Night Beam, or adds Night Beam from his deck to the hand, which is a complete cheat. You're not allowed to do that, of course. And then he's going to activate Night Beam to destroy a face-up zombie world. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys know what the card Night Beam does, but you have to target a set spell or trap your opponent controls. It does not destroy face-up cards. <laughs> like, really, you messed up the card and you cheated to add the Night Beam to your hand. Like, are you joking me? That just went wrong in so many ways. I can't even describe how wrong that was. Like, <laughs> unbelievable stuff right here. Just unbelievable like what the f the chat was going crazy and the luke guy his opponent was like what the f man you can't do that and even for the extra disrespect he doesn't even return it to his deck he resets the night beam and then it sits there the entire duel like are you joking me man yeah like you gotta be joking me but anyway going on to number four we got the worst black wing player ever he's gonna normal summon chris and then he's going to also normal summon Panaki, which is the completely wrong order to do things in. Oh, but it gets much, much worse than this. Later on, he activates a Delta Crow to destroy a face-up wave motion cannon, which again, you can't do because it can only destroy face-down cards. So that's already two cheats. Oh, but wait, there's more, guys. Later on in the game, he is he's going to attack into that face-up marshmallow you guys see there. So yeah, he attacks Chris into the face-up Marshmallow, and then he activates Trap Trick's Trap Hole of Nightmare to negate the Marshmallow. Are you joking me? What? So I don't know if you guys know what the card Trap Trick's Trap Hole of Nightmare does, but it only can negate special summon cards, and it cannot negate continuous effects, and it can only activate on the turn the card was summoned. The Marshmallow was never even summoned, it was never even special summoned, and it's a continuous effect. Are you joking me? And guess what? He still destroys the Marshmallow for no reason. Like, he messed up Trap Trick's Trap Hole of Nightmare, like, in three different ways in that attack. And just when you thought this Blackwing player wasn't done messing stuff up. Later on in the game, he normal summons Bora, he top decks a Bora, and then upon his summon of the Bora, he's going to chain Black Whirlwind. <laughs> what? Yeah, he's going to chain his set Black Whirlwind. Again, the completely wrong order to do things in. As I don't know when he's going to activate, but he is going to play it. Yeah, he's going to chain his Black Whirlwind, and then he's going to search. And the face palms were off the charts in that game. Beyond off the charts. <laughs> Alright, going on to number three. So we're on DevPro here. This is actually me dueling with Magi Spectre. So I go up against this guy. I activate Magi Spectre Tornado to banish his monster. And then he chains Twister to try to negate the Magi Spectre Tornado, which... I know MST doesn't negate, but Twister also does not negate. Okay, guys? <laughs> wow. And then on his next turn, he activates Copycat to try to target my Magi Spectre, which you can't do. And then after he tries to target the Magi Spectre, guess what he does? He tries to destroy the Magi Spectre with that Lightning Vortex in his hand. Yeah, about that. <laughs> Are you joking me? So as you can see, he's going to normal summon that copycat, try to target, doesn't work. Then he plays Lightning Vortex to try to destroy my Magi Spectres, and of course, that doesn't work. So, Brody, do you want to read my Magi Spectres, man? Seriously. <laughs> oh my god, some of the worst plays ever right here. Like, those are just beyond bad. Like, really, man? Really? He doesn't even bother to read my cards, and he just... He went, like, what, neg four on that play, if not more? Like, god... So anyway, going on to place number two here. Let's wait for the video to move. Let's go. Okay, here it is. Place number two. So we got this guy in the blue named Uncharted. It's his turn, and he's going to activate Max C on the first turn of the duel. Okay, guys. So he has to have a game plan, right? He's going to normal summon Junk Synchro and get back the Max C Synchro summon to a level five monster, right? 
Wrong. He's just going to discard Maxi. And then... And then... Summon a monster. And end his turn! What? What the F? <laughs> the biggest waste of a Maxi ever. That is just beyond... He just discarded Maxi from his hand for no reason whatsoever. Absolutely no reason. Like, are you joking me, man? Like, how are you that dumb? What? Oh my god. I was... I was laughing my butt off when this was happening live. Like, are you kidding me? The biggest waste of a maxi ever. But anyway, going on to number one. Yeah, you got most of you guys probably already know what this is, but here it is. The number one worst play of 2016. This is beyond bad. There should be no world where this guy loses this duel. And he gave up the duel. So this was actually right after the C&D happened on Dueling Network. So the cards are all black, unfortunately. But the player in the red has all the advantage. He has his opponent down to 100 life points. Yes, 100 life points. His opponent normal summons a Goblinburg. And then the player in the red, he doesn't even wait for his opponent to use the Goblinburg's effect. Right upon the summon of the Goblinburg, he activates Torrential Tribute. Yeah, Torrential Tribute. To destroy his entire field, he goes neg 5 off the Torrential Tribute. <laughs> and the player in the red's acting all cocky like, GG, I won. Which he... <laughs> so bad. He got his opponent down to 100 life points. Why would you Torrential Tribute that? He destroys his entire field, and he loses the duel because of that play. What? He goes neg 5, and he loses the entire game because of that play. Are you joking me? You gotta be joking me. He doesn't even wait for his opponent to use the effect of Goblinburg. Like, what? I don't even know what to say, guys, but there it is, the top 10 worst plays of the year. We've had much more that I could have added in this video, but... Those are just some of the most insane stuff and worst stuff I've seen happen in my history of watching people duel in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Thank you all for watching, as always. Again, if this is your first time checking out a video on my channel, please push that subscribe button. Check out some of the other vids on my channel that I post regularly. So anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, as always, and hopefully we can have some more great plays happen in 2017. And of course, have a happy holidays.